YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is the old good fella, good fella Nail coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion. Woo! Man, you know what? After a moment, after a moment though, guys, I was getting tired of reviewing Air Max 90s or Air Max 3s. After that whole like um, infrared sneaker collection like video, I was just like, okay, I'm through. I already had enough Air Max 90s. I basically treat this like my sneaker diary, you know what I mean? So, it is what it is. People that actually like sneakers, y'all know what it is. And uh, yeah, first thing first, we got the plastic Nike Air in the box. Most of y'all probably already seen reviews for this anyway though. Anybody that care about this sneaker, seen it for 90s or Air Max 3s. And you get the inserts and voila. We got the Air Max 90s or Air Max 3s because they got the air unit in the top and the front. Now I end up swooping mine up off sneaker politics. And this was a sneaker that I had my eye on, but I was just waiting on the right time to pull the trigger. These started selling out, started getting scarce. Hey, like that's the time to, you know, that's the cop, that's the time to cop. Um, you know, hey, it's only but so low it's gonna go. Now, obviously buy what you like, and you know, if you don't wanna wait for the deal, obviously you're free to buy it, but me, I like to wait for the deal. I think regular press for this was 140 at the time. Yeah, but I'm more of a purple guy than a pink guy. So yeah, these, these are a little bit more up my alley with the with the eggplant purple and stuff like that. This review not gonna be long, so you know, you already know what most about the Air Max 90 anyway, or the Air Max 3, so. I'm gonna just briefly go over that. So as far as the eggplant color go, obviously you guys can see it's more so self-explanatory. The purple on the sneaker where the leather paneling is right here, it's eggplant. You got more so like that felt nubuck right here. It's more so like a pinkish, almost like colorway. The leather is not butter soft. If you've already had a remat, if you already had a recrafted version of this sneaker, you already know what this feels like. A leather version rather going to the gray you got the air unit you got somewhat of like of a plush tongue behind that you got that pink as well pink on the insole with the white Nike air going to the bottom you got that Zen gray let's not forget since it's the Air Max 3 they charge you 20 bucks more than a recraft, so that means the Air Max unit is in the front. At the toe cap, you also got hints of pink as well. And also on the tongue, Nike Air Max, you got the eggplant colorway and that pink as well. I'm happy they actually kept the laces um, decent too, they didn't try to like use those 80s or 90s laces or whatever the hell they was using for those Air Max ones that they did for the anniversaries. Like, uh, 
I know they gave you two pairs of laces. They know that people wasn't gonna take to them laces all like that, man. I mean, I'm all down for nostalgia and stuff, but those laces was terrible. So they end up hooking you up with uh, some better laces in the back as far as the Air Max 1s go when they came out in 2017. Now with these flying flames, you know, I've always respected and appreciated the Air Max 3 or the Air Max 90. Um, you also got that going to the back. You know, I've always respected this model and everything, but it was cool that Nike can actually uh, actually recognize this heritage model. It's one of the sneakers that even non uh, sneaker heads or whatever, or non sneaker collectors was into as well. Um, you know, this is one of the sneakers that retro every year. Regular person to be wearing something, you know, like this from the fanciest colorways to the most you know conservative colorways or most dull or whatever whatever like they got it you know what i mean like they each colorway definitely has its own personality i've seen some guys just you know for og purposes dudes was picking up the concord pink ones and these as well um i definitely know where they come know where they're coming from this one of them collection you know completionist kind of like things where you just want to have all the colorways the only other colorway that I might get is if it actually fall into my lap. I'm not going to really too much do the most to get it. It's probably the coral colorway, which is another OG colorway. And uh, yeah, those Concord pink ones, uh, they can kind of keep those. Because realistically, I can see myself not really wearing those as much. So I'm not going to buy some I'm not going to wear. These I know I, I will wear for sure. Easily throw this in a rotation. Um, the spruce green ones throw those in the rotation because that's something I actually like wear But uh, the comfort is decent on this definitely comfortable way better than the other models um, Previously before the recrafts You know, it's good. That they actually hooked this model up um, And brought it back in its true form true OG form So I would give this comfort straight out the box probably a good 7 to a 7.5 we really break these in these will definitely get more comfortable in due time as far as the aging process do expect the white paint one here to off-white lemonade yellow in due time you can see some older pictures from back in the day they actually did that and the only way to get them back white is to actually paint them back white but it depends on you if you like colorway you know character or not the mesh is going to yellow up the mesh one here, the nylon eventually is going to yellow up due to age. Same thing around the ankle liner. Um, you know, again, like it's, it depends. Like if you a character guy, fine. Like I'm a character guy. I like that. Uh, I wouldn't purposely try to go spray them yellow or do something to just naturally let it happen. That's fine. Uh, overall, out of 10, <clears throat> 10 being, you know, the sneaker is, you know, Grail Hall of Fame one be a hell no so out of 10 i give this sneaker a i give these a strong eight strong eight yeah definitely i definitely mess with the colorway i actually got a sneaker that's similar as far as colorway with this i i probably might show it in one of my sneaker rotations i don't feel like going back there and all on boxes oh well i guess i can show you guys a picture so uh yeah uh the air max 180 got this colorway and that has like a felt new buck and that's already yellowing and y'all know I really take care of my sneakers and I actually wear my sneakers too and when need be I actually clean my sneakers so I already see how that's yellowing I'm expecting the same with this the only good thing about this is that it's not like new buck so it's not gonna yellow probably that quick but just natural for the, the process to happen um that's basically it. I feel like I have something else to say to you guys, but I guess that's basically it. Not, not nothing too much else. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, go watch my Air Max Infrared Collection video if you haven't yet. And I basically go over all the colors, uh, infrared color blocking Air Max 90s that I actually got in 2020. So, yeah. And, you know, just a little bit of extra. And I go over a little bit of the history. You know what I mean? Just in case you got, you know, a good 15 to 20 minutes of time. And you just want to know a little bit more, increase your sneaker knowledge, you're in the right place. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my previous videos if you haven't yet. Also, check out my current videos or stay tuned for my next videos. And uh, yeah, 
See y'all when I see you. Peace.